Hey, good afternoon, Madam Onaji. You're welcome. Okay, so today, this afternoon, we don't have, uh, yeah, we don't have any fundamental events. The only fundamental event today was released earlier in the night, earlier yeah, in the night, let me put it that way, for, for, for us in Nigeria. And uh, that was at 1.30 a.m. So there's no other fundamental event for today. So that means this afternoon is quite free. We can just look at our technical setup and uh, have no worries about any fundamentals. So I'll switch over now to the MetaTrader platform for us to check what we have in the market technically. Now, before I go into what we have this afternoon, I, I remember during my analysis yesterday, I cited uh, instruments that were to move this week. And uh, specifically, uh, some of them have moved to, to in all generated over 300 pips on the one that has moved in line with the analysis for the week. And I'll just mention uh, them right now. We looked at the GBP AUD yesterday morning when we had the weekly outlook. And I said I was bullish for the week on the GBP AUD and the Euro AUD. Now I give a bullish forecast you know, for these two uh, instruments. I remember telling us video yesterday, you can go and watch the video again. I remember telling us that I was seeing the formation of an inverse head and shoulder here, which will lead to a bullish breakout. And you know, the market really moved in line with that analysis, eating Fibonacci 50 and uh, I think Fibonacci is 1.8. Price already hits those two levels on the GDP AUD. Yeah, those two levels. Uh, and that's, you know, has gotten entries above the neckline right here. That has given uh, about 165 pips thereabouts, you know, on the GBP AUD, just in line with a bullish forecast for the week. And the same thing also is uh, seen on the Euro AUD. I gave a bullish forecast on Euro AUD likewise. I said price, you know, will go bullish once it breaks out above this range, this uh, rectangle box here. And that's exactly what we've seen. Price has gone bullish and already hit Fibonacci 50, also at about 165 pips, just like what we have on the GDP AUD. And uh, so those two have gone exactly in line with what we analyzed. And the same thing I mentioned, Euro CHF. Now those earlier, the Euro GBP, GBP AUD, sorry, the GBP AUD and the Euro AUD rather, those who are swing setup, what I said specifically for Euro CHF, that was uh, an intraday setup, a one hour setup, and that was supposed to be a bearish trade. And the market also went, you know, in that direction yesterday, for the Euro CHF and uh, was able to generate about 25 uh, pips. And uh, there's a setup right here. We had a resistance level. You can refer to the video of the yesterday analysis for uh, further information on this. So we can see there was a breakout which gave about 20 five pips. And finally, I said yesterday also that the AUD JPY, you know, is expected to go bearish. The AUD JPY, and that, that didn't move so much, but so far, I remember telling us yesterday morning that I'm seeing this turning into a double top pattern and we'll have a breakout afterwards. And that is exactly what has happened. Though this has not moved so much as expected, but so far, from the next line to Fibonacci 23.6, it regenerated about 30 pips thereabouts. So combined, we have about 300 and uh, I think 85 pips or so, or 65 pips out. I can't uh, put my hands on exactly, but it's over 350 pips you know, generated or the three of them you know, from what we gave yesterday. So I will still talk about this same, the setup for yesterday that I yet to trigger, which I'm still looking at, which will possibly trigger you know, in the course of this week, which is still in use today. So I mentioned them right now. Uh, I said yesterday that the Euro USD that I hold a bearish outlook, you know, from the daily time frame. Reason is because on the daily time frame we have a pattern that is um, exactly a double top pattern for the Euro USD. We have a double top pattern, and uh, price has broken out. I said so. There's no retest, then continue further. Now the retest has been, you know, it's almost as good as over. The retest is almost as good as over. We can go down to the four hour time frame and let's see what we have on the four hour. 
Now the four hour, we can see that the price looks like it's already trying to decline. This is the one hour. So again, if price breaks out below, you know, this pattern that we're seeing here, then it will be a time to trigger a sell on the Euro UST. Now this is more, this is a swing setup. It can span days, but then we have a swing uh, bearish setup on the Euro USD. Now, if you miss the point when the breakout happens here, it does not mean it's over yet. You might need to wait for price to break below the most recent low, which is this uh, region. And let me use a rectangle box to denote it. So basically what I'm saying is that if price breaks out below uh, this recent low, if you miss the breakout of this, uh, of this uh, rising wedge, then you wait for price to break below this support zone and you can still trigger itself on the Euro USD. So I still maintain my bearish outlook on the Euro USD. And the same thing goes for the USD CHF, you know, also on the daily price has broken out above this uh, minor resistance zone here. And we are anticipating the bigger bullish movement, but there was a retracement, which I also mentioned yesterday. I said a breakout, a retracement and a continuation. So is the continuation phase we're expecting now for the USDCHF. So if you go to the four hour time frame. You can see we have the rectangle here again. So if price breaks out above this zone, then we can trigger a buy on the USDCHF. So I maintain a bullish outlook on the USDCHF and a bearish outlook on the Euro USD. But I want to sound a word, a word of caution here that you should take only one out of the two of them. If you're trading the Euro USD, you don't need to trade the USD CHF and vice versa so that we don't end up over trading. So yeah. just pick one out of the two. And for USD card also, I clearly told us yesterday that for USD card, I anticipated that price. I, I said that we have a double bottom pattern on the daily time frame, and price is breaking support term resistance where I said that we will have a retest and a continuation. Now, today's candle has clearly broken above the neckline region, which is the support term resistance region. So even if there's no retest, even if there's no retest, we can have a buy trade any moment soon. You can see that we have this candle that has broken out above this region. So let's just watch with a little caution though. I can see there's a sorry, I can see there's a minor resistance up here, okay, which we need to take note of. Uh maybe by the by the end of today, if we have a candle that shoots above this level, that should be enough for us to trigger by. So I, I think we should just be a little cautious because of this resistance, this new resistance level. Once price breaks above that level, then we can trigger a buy on the USD card. So I'm bullish on both the USCHF and the USD. Card. All right, so that's an update from the previous setup I mentioned, that's which I gave yesterday, Euro USD, USD, CHF. And this actually long term, you know, setup, very long term setup, you know. But the ones that are a bit tradable for now, I'll look at the US oil. Now, the US oil is actually another setup I gave yesterday, but price didn't go as planned yesterday. It didn't follow the uh, analysis, it didn't break out in the, into a cell where I expected it to break out. It rather went higher, but now it seems it's getting ready for a sell. Now, on the one hour time frame, we can see a pattern that looks a lot like a head and a shoulder. It's not looking perfect, though. But if price breaks out below this level, then we should be ready to trigger a sell on the US oil. Also, we have a rising weight pattern, you know, as a confirmation. Once we have a new candle breaking below the minor support level here, it's a time to trigger a sell. And our RSI is already giving us confirmation for itself because that has already crossed below 50. And MACD is about to cross below zero. So the only thing we're waiting for the US oil now is for price for a new candle to open below the minor support level there. Then we can trigger a sell on the US oil. Now, profit potential for this setup can be, uh, let's check out the range. can be in the range of, if you take some pips below this current low, can be, uh, let's look at Fibonacci 50, can be up to like 23 pips to Fibonacci 50 and about uh, 37 pips to Fibonacci 61.8. That's combined about, uh, I think it was 70, 60, 70 pips, you know, thereabouts, with, depending on your lot size, 
can be about uh, maybe seventy to eighty dollars if you're trading zero point one lot, or seven to uh, six to seven dollars if you're trading zero point zero one, or even seven hundred dollars if you're trading a standard lot. It all depends on your equity that you're trading with. But then I'm bearish on the U.S. oil. And uh, also, I'm looking at a bearish opportunity now. This one is a completely new setup. I have a new setup on the Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand. Now, for the Euro New Zealand, I'm expecting uh, a bearish movement on this instrument. Uh, let me make it a little easier for us. Now, on the daily time frame, price just hit a resistance zone today. Just uh, today, price hit this resistance zone. This is today's candle touching the resistance. And uh, not only that, we have a downward, a descending trend line, and price also touched the tip of that trend line. Now, the resistance alone means we are looking for a decline. And coupled with the trend line, we have a double confirmation that price might reverse you know, on the Euro New Zealand. So if you flip down to the one hour time frame, you can see it here that we are, up, we are having a pattern that looks a lot like a rising wedge pattern. And you can see the current one hour candle is already, you know, giving us a bearish bias because it's already a bearish candle. Now that is not an indication that you should sell now. It's just giving us an insight into the fact that, you know, this instrument is getting weak. Now, RSI is still above 50, so it's not yet time to trigger a sell. Now, we're looking to take a sell when a new candle opens below this trend line and my RSI crosses below 50. Then I, at that point, I'll be looking at uh, taking a sell on the Euro New Zealand. Now, there's a lot of uh, volatility on this instrument at this point in time. So the profit potential on this setup is quite huge. Now, let's say conservatively, we're looking at entry around Fibonacci 23.6, though we can trigger it earlier than that. But even let's look at, okay, let's look at somewhere below this minor support here. So Fibonacci 38.2 can give about 100 pips. So Fibonacci 50 can give about 150 pips. And Fibonacci 61.8 can give about 200 pips. So don't sleep on this one if you're a day trader. Put your attention on this instrument today. What we are waiting for is a breakout for a new candle to open below this lower trend line. Now, if it happens before the end of today, then I might signify that uh, in the funded group for the funded client, you know, even drop the setup if the time permits and the possible entry. So let's just watch out for this setup on the Euro New Zealand. And finally, I'll look at the AUD card. All right, so this is the AUD card on the daily time frame. And uh, on the daily time frame, we can clearly see that price is trading around a resistance turned support. Price broke through resistance, resistance turned support. So we're expecting you know, a bullish movement over there. And the current daily candle for today is looking a lot like a rejection candle. So if this, you know, resistance on support is sustained, you should see a reversal on this candle. So we can flip down to the one hour time frame and look out for opportunity to trigger a buy trade. So we can draw a trend line and uh, a second trend line to give us a rising wedge pattern. So we'll look at taking a buy trade. Once we have a new candle breakout above this trend line with our RSI clearly above 50. So I'm putting my eyes on this uh, AUD card. I'm, I'm bearish on Euro New Zealand on one hour. I'm bullish on AUD card on one hour. And uh, I just remembered one and that's the Euro New Zealand. Now this is Euro New Zealand on the daily time frame price currently is trading at a support level on the daily time frame. Now, these are intraday setup, so we should put our attention a lot on them. So 
New Zealand US is trading at a support level on the daily time frame. The current candle looks a lot like, uh, like a doji, though we can't conclude because the day is yet to be over. But of a truth, we're having price trading at the support level and that can trigger a reversal in price. And uh, if we flip down to the four hour, we don't really have much, then let's go down to one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame, I can clearly draw another falling wedge pattern and uh, anticipate a reversal you know, from this point. Now there was something I cited on the four hour candle, sorry, on the four hour chart for the New Zealand USD. Now it's not, it's not a number, it happens. If you look at the RSI, you can see the RSI is already giving us the anticipation of an inverse head and shoulder. Sometimes your indicator can give you pattern. Yeah, if you have not heard that before, you're hearing it today, the indicator can give you chart pattern. That's what I'm seeing on the, on the four hour chart, four hour on RSI. It's a possibility of a, an inverse head and shoulder there. And uh, I'll just patiently wait for price to trigger itself in the bullish direction on the one hour for the uh, New Zealand USD. But the critical point where we will look to take entry is not just it's not just the price breaking out above the neckline, I mean above the trend line, but we have what looks a lot like a neckline or a resistance point uh, right here. Yeah, on one side here is looking as if it's a double bottom, you know, whichever whichever pattern it looks is not so important. What matters is that we have a resistance here. So I want to say that price breaks out of the trend line and above this. Uh, resistance before I can trigger a buy. And again, at that point, my RSI was clearly above 50. All right, so that'll be all from me this afternoon. I've uh, given us a you know, trade set of forecast on different instruments. Uh, the ones on the bigger time frame, I said I'm, I remain bearish on the Euro USD on the daily time frame. I'm bullish on the USD on the daily, bullish on USD card on daily. But on one hour, I'm bearish on the US oil. On one hour, I'm bearish on Euro New Zealand. And on one hour, I'm bullish on the New Zealand USD. And uh, on one hour, I'm also bullish on the AUD card. So these are the setup I've given this afternoon. Please take note of them and watch them closely as we patiently wait for price to move in that direction. So I'll attend the questions here, yeah, requests. Uh, Taro Caesar is asking me to check uh, bullet. All right, let's uh, go. Good afternoon, yes. sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I didn't get what you said mm -hmm. about uh, Euro New Zealand, or maybe the, I, I repeated some. Yes, uh, after, um, after US oil, um, the, uh, there was the, uh, you analyze Euro New Zealand. Then after that, AUD, um, AUD card, and then there was Euro New Zealand again. Maybe I didn't get it right. No, no, no. I analyzed last, those repairs, the last repairs. And analyze New Zealand UST. That's the last one I analyzed. And then before that was AUD card. AUD card. Before AUD card, I did Euro New Zealand. Okay, you don't use the land. Yes. I'm okay, the last one. Yeah. Okay, after I AUD card, what did you analyze, sir? Please. I think this New Zealand USD is the last one I analyzed. Let okay, me... New Zealand USD. Okay, okay. Yes. So after AUD card, you analyze New Zealand USD. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so that is New Zealand, uh, Euro New Zealand, is it? Uh, is bearish? Yes, Euro New Zealand is bearish. New Zealand US is bullish. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I'm grateful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, so we look at gold. Okay, so while we are looking at the bull on the dollar, the gold is still trying to do its own thing. I remember telling us yesterday that my view on gold is that gold was forming a double top pattern here 
from where we could see a bearish breakout to take a sell. But it looks as if gold has other plans because currently price is testing the support and is trying to launch and is bullish to the next resistance. Excuse me, from that point. So let's look at gold on one hour. Okay, so this is gold on the one hour time frame. Now the four hour time frame was actually a very sharp rejection candle on the support level. Uh, let's go to 15 minutes. The, the best of this setup will have been if, you know, an entry was made much earlier. I'll be careful of entry now uh, because I don't know, it may or may not get to that resistance level. But the best of this could have been if, you know, uh, entry was made at 15 minutes, you know, like some 30 uh, one minutes, one hour ago. Because on the one hour, price is just trying to break above this uh, resistance, sorry, trend line rather. So you might wait till the next one hour candle, which is five minutes away. Okay, RSI is 50. Okay, you might be looking at the bullish trade, well, please trade trade with a lot of caution. That's the advice I will give. Trade with a lot of caution. If in the next five minutes we have this current candle projecting above gold, you can take a buy on gold. But please trade with a lot of caution. Have I mean a lot of caution, having your uh, risk management in place. That's having the right stop loss and also using your proper lot size. Very very important. So we have a bullish setup on gold. USDJPY. Now, here's the JPY is trading around uh, a resistance level, you know, on the daily time frame. You can see there is a resistance up there on the daily. Currently, price, okay, price touched it, touched that level briefly. Price, it got close, not really touched, got close to that level and is having a retracement, it's possible for price to still push back to touch it. Now, if price goes back up to touch that resistance zone or resistance level, two things will happen. If the volatility is really strong, price might push above it because dollar is fundamentally and technically very strong. So if this is still strong also, price may touch that resistance and break above it. However, if the volatility is also strong, uh, we might expect a decline after price touches it. So currently the USDJPY is in a neutral zone. If you're not on a trade yet, I will advise you to just stay out till we get confirmation of what or where, which direction it's uh, really going. That's for David FX. Okay, D square FX, I'm on a buy trade on USDCHF. Fine, if you're on a buy trade and hold it, make sure you have a stop loss in place. And uh, the reason why I believe USDCHF will buy, um, I'm trying to look for it now. All right, the reason why I believe he's going to buy is this. I said this in the analysis yesterday. The dollar index, you know, is already on a bullish run. Price already broke out above the trend line on the daily and even above uh, a previous uh, resistance. So I said yesterday that could be some retracement before a further continuation. That's the dollar index. But the USDCHF has already done that retracement. You can see price already broke out of the resistance. It has done the retracement yesterday and it's trying to look for an opportunity to buy. So like I said, if you're already on a buy, hold it. If you are not yet on a buy USDCHF, I would rather advise you wait. Let price break above this rectangle. But for somebody that's ready on a buy, hold it. Put your stop loss you know, below this recent low, just in case. But if you are yet to enter a trade, wait for price to break above this rectangle before you trigger a buy on USDCHF. So I think I responded to this square FX. Bolaji Sony BTC. Now for BTC, uh, I want to get further confirmation before I give my view on BTC. You know, yesterday candle actually closed as a rejection candle, but 
it's not touching any of the points I, you know, anticipated that price should touch before we look for uh, the next direction of price. But this is what I'm seeing at the moment. Um, if you go down to the four hour time frame, this is looking a lot like uh, a symmetrical triangle. And the rule around symmetrical triangles is that if price breaks out above, it's a buy. And uh, if it breaks out below, it's a sell. So let's wait and see where price will break out from. If there's a breakout upwards, then we look for a bullish trade. And if it breaks out downwards, we look for a bearish trade. So there's not, no, no clear setup yet until the breakout finally happens on the BTC USD. All right, before I proceed, somebody raised his hand, Kele. Pardon me if I didn't pronounce the name well. You can just go ahead and ask a question. Is Kele there? Okay, you can type in the comment section. All right, so while we're waiting for Kele, uh, Gold, I already analyzed Gold. Hello, sir. good day, sir. Good day, sir. Yes, sir. sir please, sorry. I, I just wanted to get um, where you say, at the point where you were expecting the a breakout for uh, for a sell in USD and where you expect a breakout for a buy in USD card. Um, please, I already analyzed this, but I'll just oblige you. Now, I said in my analysis, I said, I said for Euro USD, it's a long term sell trade, long term because this is a daily time frame setup. But that shouldn't that doesn't mean you shouldn't trade it. I said it yesterday that I expect a retracement. I said it may touch the trend line or the support pound resistance. It's 50, 50 It may touch, or it may not touch. It doesn't matter. Now, from what, what I'm seeing, it's not touching it, and that's still fine. But then we're, we're looking for an opportunity to sell. Now, don't just say you want to trigger a sell, you know, blindly. You must have a valid reason. If you've been in my, in my training, we always emphasize you having valid reason for buying or selling. So currently on four hour, we can see that we have a rising wedge pattern. Now, a rising wedge pattern is a pattern that triggers you into a bearish trade, which is still the pattern we're seeing, you know, on the Euro USD. Now you can wait for price to break out below the lower trend line of this rising wedge and trigger itself. It's valid. For the four hour, RSI is below 50. So it's very valid. MACD is below zero. Is valid if a new four hour candle opens below the trend line, trigger itself, you are okay. And even if you want to take it to one hour, it's still the same thing. Either you're doing it on four hour or one hour, it's valid. Once price breaks below the rising wave pattern, you can trigger itself. But I now said that paradventure for one reason or the other, you miss that entry opportunity. It does not mean it's over, there's still another opportunity. And this opportunity is that there is a low, a recent low price here. So if you miss the entry here, when a new candle opens below the rectangle, which is the recent low, you can also trigger a sell. So that's the explanation I give uh, for Euro USD. You can either wait for price to break below the rising wedge or below the uh, minor support level, which is the most recent low. And you can trigger itself, and it's valid in both instances. And for the US, the card, I said this one is a bullish setup. We have a support term resistance zone here, and this resistance zone is a neckline of a double bottom pattern, which I explained yesterday. Normally, for double bottom patterns, once price breaks above the neckline, we can trigger a buy. But this one is daily time frame, so it should be done with a lot of caution because even the most recent eye is a valid resistance, which is this tip here. And that tip is where price currently is at the moment. So that's because of that one. Be careful. Don't just trigger a buy on USA card now. Maybe you wait later today, maybe in the next four hour candle. If a new candle opens above this level, then you can trigger a buy on USA card. So that's what I said about the USA card. But if you feel this is too cumbersome for you, please, it's not the only trade setup. I also gave one hour setup which you can trade. I'm just giving you a general overview of where the market is going on the long term. 
I gave intraday setup about three to four of them, which you can watch in the course of today. I gave you Euro New Zealand, which is bearish. I gave you AU card, which is bullish. I gave you New Zealand USD, which is bullish. And uh, I think there's a fourth one. And US oil, which is bearish. All of them are one hour. If this bigger time frame is too big for you, focus on those ones for the lower time frame. Now, the reason why we give this bigger time frame is because we have different type of traders on the platform. We have the scalpers, the day traders, and the swing traders. Scalpers look at short term and uh, short time frame to trade, while the day traders look at the one hour daily and the swing traders look at the four hour and the weekly. So you trade the one that is suitable for your personality. That's the essence of uh, what I'm saying. All right, so I think I've explained that. So let's go to. Uh, Thank you, sir. Appreciate your welcome, sir. Mr. Raju is asking about DJ thirty and us and one hundred. Now the market has been in a range for the better part of today, especially on the dollar pairs. So that is also taking its toll on the DJ thirty and us one hundred. But currently. Yes, sir. Currently, I can see us, sorry, DJ 30, you know, it's a support level on the four hour time frame, which is still the same support on the daily time frame. Time frame. <laughs> so, okay, I, I'm not seeing any valid opportunity now, but what I perceive may happen is this you can see that if you go on the daily today's candle is looking like uh, a rejection candle but the day is yet to be over so we can't say completely anything can still happen in the course of the day but if we flip down to one hour and uh, 15 30 minutes 15 minutes now from my understanding of candlesticks and patterns i'm perceiving this i try to form something like this that could be a decline then a breakout which may look like a triple bottom uh, not necessarily an inverse head and shoulder but something that looks like a triple bottom pattern but even if that doesn't happen the possibility i'm seeing around this is for you to take a buy you might need to wait for price to retest this support before we look for a bullish opportunity on the dj30 and we can clearly draw our trend line to that effect so look for an opportunity for a decline. And once it's breaking out, we can trigger a buy on DJ30 and confirm at the entry that your RSI is clearly above 50. So I'm, I'm bullish on the DJ30, but anticipate a, a retracement before the breakout eventually happens. And for NAS 100, All right, so for NAS 100 on the four hour, I'm seeing uh, a pattern that's quite close to a symmetrical triangle. And uh, we know by now, we should know the rule around the symmetrical triangle. If there's a breakout to the upside, that's a bullish trade. And if there's a breakout to the downside, that's uh, a bearish trade. So that's my view on the uh, NAS 100. If there's a breakout upwards, especially if it breaks out above this minor resistance, we should look for a buy. And if there's a breakout below this minor support, we should look for a sell. So that's my view on NAS 100 for uh, Mr. Raju. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that should be all for now. Joshua Corey, I did not say buy gold now. Okay, okay, that was when we did the analysis. Well, it could be ready for a buy now. Let's see if you check. But like I said, trade it with a lot of caution. Make sure your stop loss is in place. And uh, you're using the recommended lot size. 
No, you can buy gold, but I'll advise you to target the next uh, resistance level as a take profit. But I'm trading this with a lot of caution, and that should even give close to 60 pips. You can see it looks like it's, you know, the, the issue today is that because there is no news, volatility is low. And that's why I said trade with caution, because there may not be sufficient volatility to push it. But you see, we never can tell with a 50 50 thing, but target the next resistance level as the take a profit level. All right, uh, you're welcome, Mr. Rajin. So I'll take EuroCHF from Madam Onaji and uh, we should close with that. Now, yesterday I gave a bearish analysis for EuroCHF and uh, Today, let's see what this instrument are. So what I can clearly see on EuroCHF, you know, just like the last 100, is the formation of a symmetrical triangle on the four hour time frame. So you, you can see prices at the tip of the candle. If a new candle opens above, then you look at a buy trade and if price rather reverses downwards and it breaks out below here you look for a sell trade if it's a buy trade i would suggest to target the next you know resistance level up there as a take profit and that can give you as much as about 30 pips from the point of entry that i've you know drawn there and uh, if it's a sell trade then your next support should be your major support should be your uh, take profit level and that should be uh, roughly some 25 pips. All right, so a breakout above will give us a buy trade, a breakout below will give a sell trade. Now, since it's uh, a swing sector, let me see if we can do this on one hour also so that we can have a faster entry possibly. Okay, so I think it can still fit into one hour. All right, it can still fit in into one hour time frame. But then that means you're looking at the next one hour candle, which is 2 p.m. So if by 2 p.m. a new candle, or this current candle that seems to be projecting out, if it can come out clearer more than this, then you can trigger it by and target the next resistance level. All right, so that'll be all from my end this afternoon. Trade safe and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Don't forget we're having live CPI trading session this Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday, not Wednesday. It's Thursday by 1.15 p.m. So get prepared, fund your account, get ready to trade live with us and get ready to make money on Thursday. All right, bye-bye. Thank you very much, sir. We really appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, man.